ladies and gentlemen, my next guest tonight is a regular at the Comedy Cellar here in New York City. Please welcome Keith Alberstadt. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you very much. It's good to be here. I have been living in New York for a while now, but I am originally from Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah, it's a great town. So I talk a lot slower than most people who live in New York. Sometimes they'll try to speed up conversations, but they can be very clever about it. They'll use words out of their normal context, words like trust. <laughs> I heard that recently. I trust you had a good weekend. Are you asking me or telling me? I don't know how to respond to that. There is no better way to say, I would like to speed this along than to ask questions that aren't even questions. They're statements. I trust you had a good weekend. I assume your family is doing okay. I suspect you understand why I have no friends. A lot of great restaurants here in New York. I looked up one on Yelp once just to see what the reviews were. The very first review I read said this, everything I ordered, even the appetizer, had a hair in it. <laughs> That's what caught my eye. Even. <laughs> even the appetizer. It's like somebody was typing away going, all right, you know what? In the main course, I get it. <laughs> Drinks, dessert, sure. <laughs> but spinach dip, cross the line. Things are good. I got married a few months ago. I'm recently married. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Went on a honeymoon. The very first day on our honeymoon, my wife looked at me and asked me this. What do you think a good baby name would be? I'm sorry, what? She said, I'm not pregnant, but you know, maybe one day. That's a very unnecessary shock. I might do that to her sometime. Hey, do you know any good bankruptcy lawyers? <laughs> hmm. We're not broke, but maybe one day. <laughs> Especially after we conceive and raise what's his face? <laughs> I did suggest a name. I suggested one that would work for either a boy or a girl. I suggested username. <laughs> that is very practical. Our kid's already gonna be logged in. <laughs> Three seconds ahead of the class. I know it looks weird, so we're gonna pronounce it Username. <laughs> Right? Don't want the kid to get picked on. Username Alberstadt. Middle name, password. Pronounced password. Spelled with eight black dots. Most kids don't like their middle name. How cool would it be to have a middle name you gotta change every six months for security purposes? <laughs> My father-in-law, Bob, has absolutely no idea how hilarious he is. One day, before Leslie and I were married, we were hanging out at her parents' place in New Jersey. Bob left to go to the doctor, comes back from the doctor, walks into the living room, first thing he says in front of everybody, I got chlamydia. He is 78 years old. <laughs> it's real bad, too. It's called hyperchlamydia. That's how bad it is. A couple of questions later, we come to find out that Bob actually has high potassium. <laughs> a 
the medical term for that is hyperkalemia. <laughs> Bob, who else did you tell this to? You told the neighbors? <laughs> the neighbors. Now, there's an entire cul-de-sac in southern New Jersey who thinks my father-in-law has off the charts <laughs> rock star chlamydia. <laughs> Thanks a lot, everybody. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Keith Albert, Walk It Off is available now on iTunes. Keith Alberstadt, everybody.